So I'm asking a question. So when Oracle sells Oracle BI, when BICG implements Oracle BI, what do you think is the number one reporting tool that we replace, that we take out of the hands of users to put Oracle BI back in their hands? It's not business objects. It's, it's Microsoft <laughs> Excel. That's right. Microsoft Excel is still the most, you know, as far as across the board, uh, to choose one thing that people are still using prevalently for their business intelligence, it's Excel. And what happens when people use Microsoft Excel for their, for their reporting or for their, their ML analysis? They, it, a lot of times, uh, a power business user uh, gets a, a dump of data through some mechanism. They get a dump. They might get multiple dumps of data because they might be getting them from the different ERP systems for the different divisions or the different geographies. And so they're getting these dumps of data. They're combining that data. They're applying their own calculations and their own pivoting of that data. And they're ending up with a report. Then they're going to a meeting. Someone else has probably done analysis similar to that with their own Excel spreadsheet, probably in a lot of cases a set of spreadsheets with a bunch of macros. And they have a battle of Australis type scenario right there in the meeting room. So they've got two different numbers. And so there's so many examples of, of business meetings starting out with people having to discuss why their numbers are different rather than coming to the table with a single number if then they can then discuss what is the real business at hand. And so when we look at business intelligence, uh, we're not just looking at you know, what is the reports that we need to be delivering, but we're looking at what is the overall infrastructure that's required in order to ensure that we have a single source of truth for all this data. Invariably, 